This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. This past June, I was able to attend one of the most unique gaming events that I've ever been to. It's called the Rocky Mountain Gaming Vacation, and this is sort of split up between being a vacation and being a gaming event. Uh, it's, it's such a cool idea because you spend about most of the day going out into beautiful Breckenridge, Colorado, where gosh, if you've never been there before, I was stunned at how beautiful this place was. And you're gonna be going out and doing all sorts of activities. Sometimes you'll be doing it with the groups of people that are there. Sometimes you might just wanna go off on your own and do your own little hiking, biking, or whatever outdoor thing you might wanna do. You can just go down the street, go to the shops, you're in this outdoors environment that's gorgeous, and so you'll be spending the daytimes uh, going out and doing different things, and then towards the evening after dinner, you'll be getting together into a, into a hall where you'll be gaming. There'll be a gaming library there. I'm gonna give you a little bit more detail of all the different things that I did while I was there and what's there available for you. So let's take a look. I'm gonna take you through sort of how the week was for me, the different things I did during the days, and the gaming aspects at night. So let's take a look. Now the Mountain Thunder Lodge was an amazing place to have this event. Uh, the condos are amazing, there's multiple bedrooms in there. Each bedroom has its own bathroom. Here was our condo right here. And inside they were amazing as well. In the kitchen they were all remodeled, looking really nice. And they stock all the fridges with breakfast and lunch foods and non-alcoholic beverages. They feel homey because these are basically used for the ski lodges in the winter. So they have fireplaces and nice cozy, you know, living rooms to hang out and talk in. And of course, there's some TVs, uh, there was some Wi-Fi, or you could sit out by the back patio and overlook the pool. It was just an amazing place to spend time during the event. Now, when you're done with that, you can go down to Main Street uh, where there is a really cute downtown area. Little shops, dogs walking around, beautiful scenery, there's rivers running right through it. And as you're going down to Main Street, you'll see the gondolas going down. And we took those all the way up to the base of the mountain. Beautiful scenic view. You go right over where the cars are going. And then as you go up, you just awestruck by the beauty of the mountains and the clouds around you. And when you get up to the base of the mountain, it really is a treat because there is so much to do up there. Uh, every night they had a place rented out called the Mine Shaft that was sort of a cool bowling alley that they held happy hour with. And many of the people from the group went there and, you know, we went bowling. It's a little two lane bowling thing that looked like a mine shaft. Uh, that was a lot of fun. We pretty much had that whole thing to ourselves during happy hour. And of course we played games. We had, you know, a lot of people were playing code names and other party games while we were there. Uh, there was also appetizers and things to snack on. And it was just a fun way to spend the evenings before dinner. Now the gondolas also took you up to the summer fun park where there was tons to do. Uh, you could do alpine slides where you're literally on a sled going down, controlling your own speed down the mountain. Here I am finishing up, coming down the mountain. I did those as a kid and I loved doing those. It made me feel like I was 10 all over again. There was rock climbing up there uh, where you go up two different levels of climbs. That was also fun. The scenery up there was absolutely gorgeous. They also had a little coaster that you, it was a solo coaster that you could control your own speed. Here's me going up and it's beautiful. You're going through the woods slowly up front. This is me actually going up. Those are the people coming down, flying down. That's how fast you go down. And then towards the end, of course, you're going to slow down. And there's my wife, Denise, having a great time. Look at the mountains in the background. Just a gorgeous place. There was also a maze you could go through. And you're trying to find four different things uh, in the maze to, to say that you've done it. You're crossing off certain things on your score sheet. And that was a lot of fun up there as well. And then we went on the Jeep tour up the mountains. We went up to actually almost 14,000 feet. There's the top of it right there absolutely gorgeous and we found some snow up there so of course i had to do some snow angels and of course make a snowman overlooking one of the most beautiful views i've ever seen in my life i mean when we got up there on this thing it was just in awe looking over the beauty that was the top of this jeep tour 
Now on another day, we went whitewater rafting. There's myself and Alex from Dukes of Dice. Uh, and this is us going down the rapids, up the class three rapids. We had like, we called them Tarzan. Look at his hair, the guide there. It was an amazing time. I had never gone whitewater rafting before, but it was probably the best thing I did while I was there from an outdoor standpoint. And people wanted to do some things that were maybe a little bit slower. There was a lot of horseback riding. There was different groups going out and doing different things. And at the end of the day, there was a lot of time to just hang out and relax in the jacuzzi. After that, of course, it's game time. In their gaming library, they had a ton of games. They had hundreds of games, and they had really good ones. I mean, there was never a game that I, I really wanted to play that wasn't there. And also the cool thing is, if you're out and about, you could call the staff and you could say, hey, I want to play Empire Ages of Discovery right there. Set it up for me, please. And the staff would set up the games for you. So when you showed up, everything was there ready to go. So at nighttime, the gaming hall was really packed. Uh, there was probably only about 70 individuals total here, so it was small enough to make it feel like family, but it was large enough that there was a lot of people to play with, different things to play. There was a pitch car tournament. We, oh, you saw King of Tokyo. Someone was playing three games of Ticket to Ride at once, which is really awesome. And of course, we did live podcasts with Dukes of Dice and, and, and Mike Fitzgerald. Now here's all the people that went and attended this great event. And over the course of the week, you really got to know people and it was an amazing experience. Well, there you have it. That's the Rocky Mountain Gaming Vacation. And I've got to say, uh, I've been to all the major conventions in the United States. I've been to Origins, Gen Con, BGG Con. I've also been to some of the smaller, more intimate uh, you know, gaming events. And I've got to say, this was not only the most unique one I've been to, but it's been the one that I've enjoyed the most, period. And I'll tell you why. There's no other convention that equally balances activities that are outdoor, relaxation, and gaming like this. When I typically go to Gen Con or Origins or BGG Con, it's fun. It's information overload. It's staying up late, way past where you should be to be playing games and having a ton of fun, and then not being able to sleep because you're so excited. And that, that is fun. It's a lot of fun doing those things, and I, I, I do it a lot. Uh, but when I get home from those things, I feel like I have to take a vacation from my vacation. This was the first gaming event I've ever been to where I felt like the balance was there. Going out and seeing new things, sightseeing, whitewater rafting, all the things you saw us doing, hanging out in the jacuzzi, relaxing, talking, but then we also got a ton of gaming in as well. And I really came, back, came home saying, this was absolutely amazing because I feel like I was on a vacation, but I also got to game a lot too with people that are gamers. I wasn't playing Monopoly or things like that. We were playing real gamers games. It was a ton of fun. Another reason why this was amazing is I was able to take my wife Denise along with me because she's not a stereotypical gamer. She's not a real gamer. She likes lighter games and we play games here and there, but she's not a, a hardcore gamer. She wouldn't go to a gaming event on her own. Uh, and I got to go with her here. We got to enjoy a lot of the things, the scenery and, and all the things during the day. And then we actually played games together at night and she was teaching people Ticket to Ride some nights. And it was just so cool because it was the first time ever I've been able to actually enjoy gaming at an event away from home uh, with my wife, which is amazing. So if you are the type of gamer that likes to do other things uh, other than just gaming and you'd like to mix those together, this is an absolutely amazing experience to not pass up for next year. Also, if you're like me and you have a spouse that doesn't give one hoot about gaming, or mine actually likes it a little bit, but even if yours doesn't care at all about it, this could still be one that you could go share the days and the evenings with her, and then around six or seven o'clock, you could go down to the gaming hall for a few hours and play a bunch of games and get your thing in there too and have it be a good family vacation. So I think this, this appeals to a wide range of people. I highly rec recommend you checking it out for next year. I have a feeling this is gonna sell out much quicker next year because we had a lot of, uh, you know, my, myself was there and, and, and uh, Dukes of Dice was there and, and designer Mike Fitzgerald was there this year. We did some live feeds and I think the buzz is getting, being built. This is, the, this is one that's gonna be growing, uh, but it's still small. We still only had about 70 people there, which is perfect because it was really intimate. You really got to know people over the week and it felt like sort of like a family as, as the week went on as you got to know everybody. So I've said enough. I think you know enough if this is for you or not. Uh, you can check them out at IcarusTours.com and that was the Rocky Mountain Gaming Vacation. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.
I'd like to thank each and every one of you for backing me on Kickstarter and making this season become a reality. I'd like to especially thank those here that have backed me at the credit level. Now, these video reviews are also available by audio on our podcast. It's the intros and the final thoughts on GameboyGeek.com. Click podcast. Thank <laughs> you.